Hello everyone. Today I am going to provide you with an overview of MCX Futures Crude Oil, the technical outlook for the period 26 September to 30th of September. Prior to that, I will take a review of our previous view outlook and how things panned out. Crude oil, which has corrected from the highs of 9635 levels mid in mid of June 22 has almost corrected to the levels of 32% from the highs to current 6500 mark. Last week, we have mentioned the view that crude oil, which was trading at 68106 level, the bias will remain under pressure trading below 7500 mark. At the same time, on the lower end, it has the crucial support zone of 6500 to 6000 levels. As you can see here on the charts, which is a weekly chart, which indicates that the counter has entered into an oversold zone, but at the same time, the counter remains under pressure till the time it is trading below the immediate major interim hurdle of 7800 8000 levels. So it was clearly mentioned since last few weeks that trading below 7800 to 8000 mark, the bias will be raised to down. And on the lower end, 6500 to 6000, that's a cushion zone for the crude oil from here it can witness some kind of bounce back. So in last couple of weeks we have seen that crude oil has bounced back from the lows of 6500 to reach the highs of 7200 mark but it again slipped down and previously we have seen that the closing was at around 68 16 levels where we have mentioned that the bias will remain negative till the time it is trading below 7200 levels. So last week we have mentioned the view that range to pullback can be ex expected from the lows of 6500 to 6000 levels but at the same time the crude oil is expected to witness resistances at around 7200 and major 7800 levels over and above which only we will be expecting some kind of short covering else the bias will remain range to negative now if you see how things panned out last week this is a weekly chart of last week where we can see that crude oil was well within a tight range with negative bias. So it attempted a pullback, but it failed and it ended last week once again at 6571 levels. So for the coming week, once again, we hold the same outlook which we have been mentioning in the last couple of weeks that the counter has crucial support zone of 6500 to 6000 zone. So dip towards 6000 will be expected to witness some kind of pullback but at the same time on the higher end 7200 and major 7800 levels will remain a resistance. Overall if we see on a positional time frame the counter has corrected almost 32% from the highs of 9635 in last one quarter and as for the oscillators the counter has entered into an oversold zone but though we have not witnessed any kind of reversal Still, we believe the downside is also capped. For next few weeks to months, 6500 to 6000 will be a very, very important crucial support zone for crude oil. If that zone has been taken off, then the counter can enter into a fresh round of weakness. And in that scenario, it will be open towards the lows of 5000 to 4500 zone in weeks to come. So, 6500 to 6 zone can be looked as a make or break point from those levels we can ex still expect some kind of pullback which can test the highs of 7200 but it need to hold around those levels in order to witness some kind of fresh short covering else the bias will be ranged to down with a consideration bias for next few days to week in respect with the technical derivatives option strategies there are few strategies recently which we have initiated in respect with crude oil as well as for natural gas. So as on 20th of September, when crude oil was trading at 68, 35 watt levels, we have initiated a kind of pullback, um, positive outlook over crude oil and initiated a conservative of, uh, bullish strategy where we have bought futures, but at the same time we have sold in the money call of 6700 strike price. So as for the payout diagram, you can see that this strategy has a break even at around 63.75 levels. Initially, we witnessed that crude oil post this initiating this strategy 
witness the pullback and the highs was at around 6950 to 7000 mark so this strategy was once in a profit of around 7500 rupees per lot but last week it slipped down and ended at 6571 so the strategy was giving a loss of around 12000 per lot as on last week close but since we have time in our hand the strategy will be valid till 17th of october so we can expect some kind of bounce back because here the strategy is break even is at around 6375 over and above which the expiry on 17th of october will give a positive return so maximum risk is 6700 per lot and the maximum gain is 33000 per lot with a break even of 6375 it is on hold other strategies like natural gas which was initiated as on 19th of september for 23rd of september expiry witnessed a profit of around 12000 initially but it ended on 23rd of september at 4188 per lot profit there is another strategy which initiated on 19th of september in natural gas for a very short period of time it ended in red at 22000 mark but other few open strategies which was initiated on 15th of september the one include oil was a covered bullish bull spread where we have bought 7000 call and we have sold 8000 call in the ratio 1 to 2 so that strategy also ended marginally in red after trading in a profitable positions for initial few days on the flip side other counter like natural gas which was initiated on 15th of september for the expiry of 23rd of september gave the maximum return of 61000 per lot and ended as on 23rd of september thank you very much for your time if you find this input valuable you can contact us on the given mail id and the given contact numbers for our future reports and strategies in days to come thank you very much investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing